Hey everyone, uh, up next I want to talk about another theorem for determining how much of a population is within some boundaries. Um, the theorem that we're taking a look at uh, in this video is Chebyshev's theorem, uh, which really is a very simple theorem, um, and the formula that goes along with it is 1 minus 1 over k squared. Right? What we're talking about is I want to figure out where 75% of some data is going to fall. Well, if I am using a normal distribution, I can be a lot more accurate. Um, but if I want to figure out where 75% of the data is going to fall, I'm really still talking about standard deviations. So let's take a look at an example that says, um, on average, uh, the score on a pre-employment test is a 26 with a standard deviation of 7. Right, so if I'm thinking about this, and again, I don't know what this distribution looks like. I know that the average score is 26, and that each standard deviation, um, one standard deviation, two standard deviations, and three standard deviations are all seven, right? So I know we go from 26 to 33 to 40 to 47. Uh, going the other way, I'm subtracting three or seven each time. So I've got 26 down to 19 to 12 to five. Okay, I'm guessing a lot of the scores are between five and 47. That's just my guess. That's three standard deviations away. And that most of the scores are probably between 19 and 33. Um, this theorem helps us figure out how many standard deviations. And so when I put a two in for K, when I say K is equal to two, I am really doing 1 minus 1 over 2 squared, or 1 minus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths, or 75%. Now, I don't know if this data um, is skewed one way or the other, right? and it doesn't really matter. Um, Chebyshev's theorem works for any data, as long as we are talking about more than 1. So k has to be greater than 1 right otherwise this thing kind of blows up if we're talking about more than one standard deviation away um, 75 percent is going to fall at two standard deviations so here again two standard deviations is between 12 and 40. so i can say with some certainty that 75 percent of the people that take this test are going to score between 12 and uh, 20 or excuse me 12 and 40 points all right, if I do that um, now with a different one, like three standard deviations is one minus uh, one ninth, which is eight ninths, which is approximately, pull out the calculator, eight divided by nine, 88.9%. Uh, so, three standard deviations is 88.9. Now those are the probably two numbers you're going to see, but I don't have to use exact numbers. I can say, what about, what if K was equal to 1.5? Like what, how many people are one and a half standard deviations away, All right? One and a half standard deviations uh, is really seven times 1.5, because remember my standard deviation was seven, um, so one and a half standard deviations is 10.5. So over here, I'd be at uh, 36.5. And over here, um, 26 minus 10.5 ends up being 25.5. Uh, if I want to know what percent of people lie between those two scores, I am simply going to put the 1.5 in the to Chebyshev's theorem and say 1 minus 1 over 1.5 squared or and 1.5 squared is 1 minus 1 over 2.25 I'll just do this in a calculator 1 minus 1 divided by 2.25 gives me 0.555 or 55.6% of the data. So 55.6% of people are going to score between there. So I can be really um, kind of up in the air and, and whether I want to talk about how many standard deviations away something is or even if I want to look at the scores and figure out how many standard deviations away that is. Um, 
that's what we're taking a look at with Chebyshev's theorem. And we do have a formula. Uh, it's referred to as the z-score formula, which is going to help us figure out exactly in what k or what k would be equal to. And we'll take a look at the z-score formula in another video.